Daniel, you're in Walkerville. What item are you still hanging on to? Hi, Bongani. Uh, I still have a steam iron that my mom bought in 1992. Wow. It has outlived every other steam iron that we bought afterwards. Wow. And you know the thing about irons, I find, the cheaper they are, the longer they last. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. The che- There's a thing, I promise you, every time I've bought an expensive one, mm. not long after, or oh, auntie says, sorry, <laughs> it's packed up. All right, Daniel, 29 years. That That is a record, I think, right? 29 years. Um, Bets, you're in Ruedeput. You've got a fridge from when? 1966. My husband bought it for my late mother-in-law, and when she died, I gave it to him, back to him. Yeah. Because I knew he bought it. And it's still going, yes. It's standing in my dining room. Oh, my goodness. All these years back from 1966. Jeepers. That's older than everybody in this studio. (laughs) 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 Lovely stuff, Bets. Thank you for that call. Joy, you're in Kempton Park. Uh, You've also got an old fridge. It's actually a chest freezer. Oh, all right. It belonged to my sister-in-law. She got it in the late late 60s and she passed it on to us and we still got it and it's still working the late 60s i mean they just things in those days were built to last would you agree with me definitely definitely i wish they would do the same today yeah yeah (laughs) we're too easily we too easily replace things these days a lot of people will tell you they've got items bought inherited given to them years and years ago still going because in those days things were built to last current events Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.